That's right. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett taking a time uh, to step outside the hearing room and check in with us. Uh, Congressman, thanks. Thanks for joining us. You know, what do you make of what you heard so far? Maybe the fact that we don't have very many more answers than when we started this thing. Well, this is why I wanted to have the hearing last week, last Monday. We'd have the exact same answers and we'd be further along in the investigation. Yes. All this administration has done is just, is just deflect, deflect. Then you see the Democrats asking questions about gun control, as if that matters at this point. The answers are not being answered by her. She is, um, and, and then for her to say that she's the best person in the country to run this thing, I mean, what did they do? Just go down to the Kmart and have it put a, a hire, now hiring sign up? This is the most pathetic display of this administration that we've seen so far. And I don't think, it, and I don't think it's going to stop. We're going to have six hours of this, this lady up here telling us, uh, just trust her kind of thing. And that, that's why nobody trusts government, either side. Yeah, she was the she's the 27th director of the Secret Service, uh, appointed or rather sworn into office in September of 2022, head of security, if you will, um, at PepsiCo, global security at PepsiCo before that, but served several, several years, decades within the U.S. Secret Service as well. Um, watching this hearing, at least from, you know, an, an audience point of view, Congressman, uh, we are seeing questions somewhat in a in a bipartisan form. Obviously, there are a lot of gun control questions as well. But you saw Congressman Ro Khanna really gave it to her just recently and said, don't you believe, is this much like what happened with the uh, attempted assassination on Ronald Reagan? And she said, yes. Do you remember who headed the Secret Service then and what he did? He stepped down. Why do you believe you should not step down? She continue, continues to say she is the best to serve. Um, but yet again, the, the American people still don't know what happened. They're getting no answers from her. Your response to that? Well, my wife and I, um, I married my wife. She was a widow, and she had raised a beautiful little girl up to the point of where I stepped in. I don't know if I've helped the situation or not, but I tell Isabel every day, I said, baby, you can do whatever you want in this country. Your grandmother flew an airplane during the Second War, World War, for goodness sakes, and your mama raised you on her own. And, and I tell her that, that she will get a job because on her own abilities. And this is clearly, you're seeing somebody who does not have the ability to do their job and has stepped ahead of other people. She needs to go. So they keep, I was just asked by one of your rivals who, who asked me if, if they thought she should resign. I said, she shouldn't have to resign. She should have already been fired. This is clearly what's going on with this administration. I mean, this is indicative of a much bigger problem if there is one. And for her to say, and then they asked her if she'd talked to the FBI, and she said, no, I haven't. The FBI's in charge of the investigation, for goodness sakes. What is going on? You've got people out here that didn't have, uh, it just shows you from the top to the bottom, there is no communication from the law, local law enforcement to the Secret Service, from the FBI to the Secret Service. There is no communication going on. This is a clown show. This is why America thinks there's a conspiracy, because these chuck wagons don't have enough sense to come out and give us the, the answers. Instead, they just run from us and say, oh, we're in the middle of investigation. They won't answer the question. Right. That's sort of been the, uh, the answer that's been consistent throughout. But look, I, I mean, as you well know, sir, Americans are wondering how this building that was 150 yards away was outside of the perimeter, how someone was able to scale the roof and have a clear shot of former President Donald Trump. Do you think we'll have these answers by the time the FBI investigation concludes? Not, not to most people's satisfaction because the shooter's dead and, um, and the rooftop apparently has been cleaned since then. So there's a lot of questions. That, and again, this just feeds the conspiracy fires. And, and frankly, it, it, you know, it, they're not doing a whole lot to put those fires out with these lame answers and these, this charade that they call a, a, you know, a, a an investigation because what will happen, the ultimate conclusion will be we didn't have enough resources, we didn't have enough money. It's the typical Washington, D.C. side trot. They'll ask for more money yeah. and then, you know, we'll be forced to give them more money and they'll continue doing DEI hires and not doing their dadgum job. Yeah. That will be the conclusion of this. The budget of $3.1 billion um, confirmed that she works with, also 8,000 employees under her. She said she needs about 1,500 more than that to successfully run the Secret Service. Congressman Tim Birch joining us live of the Oversight Committee stepping out of those chambers there uh, to join us here on National Report. Congressman, thank you for that. We do appreciate that.